last match Already. of the wow. evening. Yes, our last qualifier for top 12 here through the loser's bracket. Mei Mei defeating Snoop in the Yoshi Ditto, I'm assuming, 3-0. And he's gonna have to fight off against Mr. R here yeah. to, to make it even further into the bracket. Pull up those multi-twitch, multi-twitch.tv slash 2G Gaming slash The Meta Shift oh, yeah. so you can catch all the action because we have our last stream match of the winner's side to qualify for top 12 on the 2G Gaming stream. That's gonna be Light versus Shutan. You don't wanna miss any of it. Multitwitch.tv slash 2G Gaming slash The Meta Shift. And here we go. Yeah, May versus Mr. R. Rooms open for sure. And honestly, definitely a great character choice from Mr. R2. We definitely know uh, why we're seeing Krom coming out um, against Yoshi just because he does have that disjointed sword there to use in this matchup. So yeah, definitely good to see him switch off of the Young Link. And uh, yeah, starting fresh again. Not with the stage, though. Yeah, and we're actually <laughs> going to see the Krom from Mr. Man. R this time. Uh, I definitely respect this counter pick. It's a counter pick through and through. Yoshi does not like sword characters. Krom being a contender for one of the best sword characters. I mean, depending on who you ask. If you ask me, I like him a lot. But there's people who say Roy is probably better. Lucina is probably better. Man, but I think but Krom, is Krom hits like a truck, man. He does. He's kind of like Ike and Marth combined. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. So, OK, nice. Okay. Ooh, be careful how long you're holding oh. it, dude. Kind of scaring me there. I'm okay. surprised Mr. Arden didn't uh, you know, I'm out. Talking about how uh, Yoshi doesn't like sword characters, but did you see the reach on that getup attack, man? That's crazy. It, it actually extended past the reach of Mr. R. Oh, neutral air. Ooh. Yep. Oh, Getting my God. Back onto the Dang, stage. Excuse me. I just clipped right there. That really <laughs> hurt my own ears. On my ear. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I... I <laughs> Oh man, I was right, right before right. that too. I was gonna say, uh, Krom's directional air dodge is actually really good. Yeah. I don't know if you saw how much uh, reach yes. uh, that had to get it back onto the stage safely. So again, okay, using up, he that. Had a shield. Is that gonna be the KO? Nice Not stuff. quite, but the percents are dangerously high for Mei Mei right here. 162 now. Ooh, okay, nice. There, out of shield there. Okay, and uh, applying the back air no. on the shield. Yeah, nice all of all of Krom's aerials out of shield are going to be really good. They hit really low to the ground and come out super fast. Okay, and I like that uh, Mei Mei's getting oh! back onto the stage with the eggs. It's very important to apply some pressure when you're off stage. Don't want to be coming in. Uh, Luckily for Mei Mei, he is kind coverage. of a heavy character, so he su was able to survive the falling neutral air into the forward smash by the ledge at that. Yo, Ooh, okay, they're the strings. Okay. Looking like Palutena. And also, almost uh, off thinking of that B reversal off stage. That would have been really nice if he got that as well. Down tilt, kind of setting him uh, at an awkward angle there. A wrong way, not going to get that tech chase. Not at all. All right. We're back at the ledge. Mr. R continuing to pressure here with his aerials. Just backing up, avoiding these egg setups. Yeah, again, Mr. Swinging R. Swinging his sword, man. Having so much coverage at the ledge, having uh, doing a really good job with these uh, ledge traps. Nice stuff. Gonna recover low oh. and gonna drag him down. Why? Yeah, Mei Mei went off there for the offstage play. Was not worth it. The risk reward was not in his favor. Okay, he's throwing another egg at the ledge. Mr. R falling into that, falling up air to back air, racking up this damage. Okay, nice. Is that back air out of shield? Not gonna get the connection. Nair, wrong way, but again, yeah, Nair being so uh, such a good tool for Yoshi. Oh, there's nice that fair. Stuff. Bouncing him off the ground, getting the up air. Only 46% here on Mei Mei. Not bad at all. He can make this up with a single conversion. Should he find a forward air, a back air, even a uh, up tilt, forward tilt? A lot of these things are going to lead to a lot. Oh, why didn't he throw out the last connecting hit there? I feel like maybe it sent him out a little too far. Yeah. Okay, again, Mr. R at the ledge. He's gonna hit this down tilt, backing up to the platform. There oh, it is, yeah. the jab to back air. Gonna take it, game number one going to Mr. R. Yeah, jab back air, just makes such a great confirm for uh, Krom there, especially at those higher percents. Nice way to end out the first game. And this is to get into top uh, 12 for tomorrow, I believe, right? Yes, it's the last qualifying match through the losers bracket to get into top 12. Top 12 losers. The uh, players of this set are guaranteed 13th at this point. So anybody, you know, whoever loses this set is, gets 13th place. And I mean, it's a, it's a little uh, sad to be right out of the margin there, but again, you know, coming through and getting a 13th at this event definitely uh, 
it's, it's hard to do. It's hard to pull off for Nothing sure. Nothing to scoff at whatsoever. All right. So up, B, <laughs> up B out of shield. All right, might oh. as well. For, forward air to falling up air. Nice, neat little conversion there for Mr. Park. But uh, double up air might even be better. Yeah, this is actually a beautiful counter adaption stage from Mei Mei here, just because he's going to get these proper extensions off the platforms as we were seeing there. And uh, honestly, yeah, we're going to follow up with some nice up airs. I'm going to be surprised if, um, you know, even saw some leg, uh, leg uh -oh. extensions as well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't forward smash him. Nice. May not have been quick stage. enough. Yeah. All right, Sharkin below him. He's going to put him back off the stage with a back air. Yeah, try to offer that fade away there, but Mr. Uh, R going to call that out. There's that down tilt. Going to get the nice. tech. A really solid yes. jab to F smash. Yeah, it's really nice. Jab, jab reset, up. allowing Mei Mei to get that guaranteed forward smash. Going to extend his lead here with a single up air. That did looks a lot of damage, man. I like my clap. Oh, yeah, same time as the, <laughs> the up air. Nice stuff. Um, and All again, right. okay. Sar waiting patiently. And nice use of the, the B reversal too. Kind of mix up his recovery options as well. Yoshi definitely uh, kind of has that like funky movement going on for sure. So nice to see Jab not applying too much pressure off stage. Or I'd like to see that a little bit more from Mei Mei. I feel like he's playing a little too safe and uh, opting for the ledge traps instead. Oh, okay, Air Dodge just to that top platform, but he's gonna get caught by the forward tilt on the ground. Down to two stocks apiece here, 76% on Mr. R. Nothing that he can't make up with a uh, single falling up air as he's looking for right now. That falling up air will at least give him a back air. Maybe even a couple more up airs if he's positioned correctly. Yeah, I'm not gonna read the tech roll in there. Nice B reverse, so we gonna get any convert. Okay, okay, falling up with the fair. Not too shabby there. Of that backer as well, having such a really exceptional uh, disjoint there as well. Yeah. Very deceptive. Okay, a lot of aerials coming out from both players, mainly from Mei Mei. All right, the forward air. Not going to get the air dodge trap with the second forward air to the neutral air. Opting oh. forward throw. Uh oh. Nice. Getting the falling neutral air on the tech chase. However, it's not going to be enough to take the KO. <laughs> Again, I know, just poking oh. at him with these nares, getting him off stage. That was so good at Mr. R. He actually swung at the egg to avoid getting sniped by it and allowed himself to recover back onto the stage. Up air into the, excuse me, up tilt <laughs> into the up air. We'll do the trick, though. I mean, almost the same move, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. I, they have, like, the same animation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. His, um. his F tilt, too, is kind of confusing sometimes. Oh, no, it is, for sure. Okay, I'd like to see that. I thought we were actually going to see an F tilt there. Maybe uh, possibly into the up tilt, up air. I usually like to see that yeah. coming out from those lower percent combos from Yoshi. But instead, uh, maybe maybe you're expecting a little too much. I don't know. Uh, but definitely could have gone for, you know, uh, a proper extension yeah. there. I mean, the per, the, per, the uh, respect is definitely merited at this point, right? Mr. R playing Krom, Krom hitting like a truck, uh, an F tilt, a back air, whatever, dude. He can sneeze on him, and that's going to be down to our last lives here for game yeah, two. Yeah, actually going to even it up oh, pretty much damage. here. Um, in this situation, Mr. R bringing it back. Okay, really nice stuff. Again, kind of looking for the same options that we've been seeing him throw out all stock. Mei Mei's definitely going to uh, start a, you know, he's starting to call it out at this point. Like, okay, you're kind of going for the same stuff right now. What are you really trying to land uh, these confirms on me? All right, dude. Just outspace you. Yeah, forward throw, pushing Mei Mei back off stage. And catch his landing. Oh, with the jab back here. That's not going to be enough. He doesn't get the sweet hit of that. That's uh, that sweet, sweet spot. Yeah, no, why is that so, like, terrifying? The... Um, like the oh yeah into the nice. why? Why? beautiful the beautifully executed by Mr. R and he moves up <laughs> 2 0 now 2 0 here against Mei 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 not going out without a fight though these games are down to the wire yeah I know we're getting to the end it's definitely been a long day for sure kind of stumbling over our words a little bit I'm definitely doing the same thing again the whole like tongue placements I was telling you about earlier <laughs> <laughs> like yesterday is very hard to keep up at this point um but again you know Mei Mei just very you know, falling slightly short. You know, Mr. R isn't really yeah. having a huge lead or anything on yeah. him. So, uh, so one thing that I will say is like, mm, you know, we had we had Mr. Up B the last time <laughs> we had Mr. R on this on the stream. Yeah. 
And now he's playing Krom, so you could almost call him Mr. Ledge Trapper, because Krom is really, really strong at, at ledge trapping. However, we're not really seeing the ledge trapping too much in, in this matchup. It's looking like uh, Mei Mei is getting up off of the ledge. He does have the egg to kind of maneuver around and get up high. And on Town and City specifically, he had the platforms to kind of avoid even being on the ledge at yeah. all. Not only that too, but just Yoshi having that super yeah. armor on his jump yep. too. It kind of makes it harder yep. to follow up with the typical um, combo. Because it's kind of like a combo breaker, right? right. You're jumping out of those things with Yoshi. That's partly why a lot of people, you know, don't have much love for Yoshi because they're just like, man, the typical stuff that I usually do doesn't work on him. So you kind of have to mix up your options, slow up your, slow down your pace a little bit, and uh, becomes a little harder. But yeah, definitely, Mr. R having all the different names tonight for Here sure. Here we go, game number three, back to town and city, the potential last game of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Aristel, are you ready? I'm, I'm ready, ready, man. I'm ready to see Mei Mei take a game two. Honestly, slightly falling short every time. So this is an opportunity going back to town and city here. Uh, again, going to have a uh, doing a really good, excuse me, going to have a uh, really good opportunity to get these platform extensions here. So this is what I want to see. Okay, nice. Situation for Mr. All R right. there. Going to get back onto stage with the back air. Nice coverage. Okay, he finds a jab, but he doesn't quite fight in the follow-up off of it. Yeah, jab back there it is. looking for. Nice stuff from Mei, Mei Forward air confirming into the up air. Really good stuff, and a back air. Actually, not wow. enough. Almost killing, though. Almost going to be enough here. And again, kind of waiting uh, with these uh, hops here. Yoshi's having the hops right now for sure. And again, okay. Not gonna follow up with that uh, jab. Dude, do you see the amount of pressure he had on the shield? He actually did the falling back oh air into the up Ooh. tilt to cover the roll. Didn't get the roll, but he does have a massive advantage right here. Up three stocks to Mr. R's one. Yeah, no, honestly, so looking really good though with the, uh, yeah, thank you, dude. For uh, having up 3-1 right now, and again, killing uh, Mr. R pretty early there with the double Nair off stage, killing yeah. around 90%. Yeah, and he's really capitalizing off of uh, Krom's weaknesses are, right? Which are to be off stage, Krom doesn't have the greatest recovery. Sure, it goes pretty far uh, vertically, but he doesn't have a great horizontal drift with that upbeat. Yeah, no, for sure. Again, oh my God, thank you. Someone brought me water. I'm like choking <coughs> on my words here. But again, got to be careful going in with those unsafe aerials. Kind of uh, going and hopping in a lot for Nair on his shield. And Mr. R kind of recognizing that and punishing him every time. All right, Mei Mei looking folks. like he's going to take a game here. Oh, all right. He goes for the early up B. Not quite close enough to the ledge to get back. And that's gonna be game number one for, for Mei Mei, yeah. putting himself on the board. I like to see it. Mr. R still with the slight advantage here, being up two got the, to the one. The carpet Yoshi representation too, would like to see that. I actually yeah, uh, really Yoshi. like, yeah, I just call him carpet Yoshi, I really like how he I think that might be the, the uh, the uh, agreed upon Ooh. nomenclature within the community. Okay, right? though, we actually are seeing a character switch coming out from Mr. R. Oh, Been okay. For Snake here, which Snake. I don't disagree with. I mean, a lot of people are saying Snake is one of the best characters in the game, so it, it's never going to be a bad choice to go Snake. Of course, he can actually uh, do a lot more damage uh, it was just with trading against uh, Mei Mei. Something I'm probably going to see against. Uh, in this matchup is uh, Mr. R putting grenades on the ground, cooking them as well as holding onto a grenade just in case Mei Mei tries to hit his shield. The contact with the with the attack will actually explode the grenades, such as we just saw. Yeah, no, this actually looks a little more um, difficult. In general, gonna have another Sonar character applying so much pressure with the bombs, the grenades, the C4. Also gonna be utilizing the uh, Pokemon Stadium platforms too, so uh, Yoshi's got to be careful, or Mei Mei has to be careful here, yeah. for sure, where he's landing and uh, how to recover safely back onto the stage here, as we're seeing. Like, actually, going for the down tilt here. Oh, I like the setup off the down throw. Had a grenade behind him, so he kind of anticipated that Mei Mei would roll away, but he went for the immediate get-up attack, thwarting his plan there. Finds an egg lay, trailing by a little bit. He finds Ooh, the reset okay. by the ledge, and that's the early beautiful. forward stock for Mei Mei. Yeah, no beautiful stuff coming out from Mei Mei. Kind of what he needs to kind of get this momentum going in. I'm still in this 2-1 right now. Definitely not out of it. And applying again, just kind of really slowing his pace down. And um, 
Oh, okay, okay, I was gonna say, really going in with safer aerials and options right now. And again, there's those lay eggs being thrown out. Applying pressure at the ledge. Gonna be looking for that proper extensions with the up airs. Oh my god, so much damage. Double up air into the neutral air to finish it off. Oh my god, off of his own grenade, getting another up air. Okay, <laughs> Yoshi bombs <laughs> onto the, the explosive, the actual explosive. Okay, nice, and I like how he can kind of just wait back and uh, look how he's kind of falling back after when he's throwing out his fares, which is really nice. Kind of keeping himself right out of grab ra range as well. So applying pressure that way pretty safely. There's the eggs again and the grenade. Uh, you know, Mr. R kind of getting the damage here and there, but at the same time, uh, just being really patient, not really going for much other than the grenades right now and uh, kind of working around uh, Meimei's movement right now. Yeah, okay, Mr. R finding a grab right here. Oh, looking nice for some sort of mix-up, uh, going for the aerial. But again, Meimei just continuing to just get up attack off, uh, off of these uh, down throws. A little bit more percent, though, and that down throw is going to lead into a guaranteed KO off of the up tilt. At about 160% or so, that's when that will be online. He yeah. finds an egg lay here for Meimei. So even right now. Yeah, Meimei. Really All holding right. the stock. Absolutely, Meimei. Nice there, out of shield there. Again, this is where he needs to take advantage of Snake's limited recovery options there too with Cypher. Oh, okay, Mr. Hart looking for the up tilt. Has to make his way back to the stage. He uses a C4 to make sure he does so safely. The movement with the grenade, really, really good. High recovery here, air dodge to the ledge. He absolutely needed to do that. Ooh. Back throw, yep. Hey, getting the grab Put him off out stage. Of the here comes Nikita. And that projectile being so scary, one of the best in the game. First serve and landing up here, gonna take out the yeah. second stock off of Mr. R. Meimei in a great position right and, here. And really good stuff for Meimei to close the gap, right? When the rocket launcher was out and Nikita was active, he just goes over the Nikita and lands on Mr. R with the aerial, taking the KO, putting himself again a one stock up on Mr. R, landing up air Ooh. into the up tilts, up airs. Oh, patience, too. What is actually happening right now? Throwing out these up airs and theirs. Phenomenal play spicy. coming from Meme. Mr. R, again, at a deficit, but not quite out. 41% on himself. He finds a huge 25% down here. Pivot Back grab. Throw, trying to get that C4 oh, explosion. Yeah. yeah, I'd almost forgotten where that C4 was, man. You really got to be careful when you're playing against Snake. You got to keep track of where the C4 is. It's a lot harder than you think for sure, and that's why it's so important to wear those headsets as well to hear the placement of the C4 um, in this matchup especially. But I like the pressure with the down tilts. Going in, uh, just really applying safe pressure here out from uh, Mei Mei. Yeah. Nice stuff. Nice to see Mr. R gonna roll in kind of across the stage here, kind of setting up uh, you know, this uh, wall, kind of like snakes like to do. They have to have their whole setup game and kind of prep for the kill. Yeah. Okay. All righty then. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> I know what's Mr. R doing. Yeah, doing I mean, just bo both both players ledge. are kind of just throwing <laughs> projectiles at each other. They're definitely in the range where uh, either one of them are going to be able to convert into the KO. So R trying to close the grab, find a grab. I mean, Mr. R just really actually playing like this right now, just slowing down everything and playing how he needs to. Okay, I thought nice. really nice mix up. I thought we were gonna see the up tilt coming out from yeah. him, but I like uh, yeah, the, the I like outfit. that we didn't see the up tilt come out too early because it's not at a percent where it's going to KO uh, or not going to guarantee KO off of the down throw. Okay, that was really nice too. Nice damage coming out from Meimei there. Mr. R playing so safe right now. Uh oh, he caught himself by the, his own grenade there. Dropping the C4 right in front of him. Yeah, really nice uh, landing option as well, because Snake ha does have a hard time landing. Up tilt. There it is, oh the yeah. parry into the up tilt. Man, I saw it. I had a vision, and Mr. R taking the 3-1 victory. Really nice stuff to both players. I, I really actually.